92.5. The feelies are here, uh, AJ and Heather and little Connor. Yay! And AJ, it's great to meet you. I've never had the opportunity to meet you, but I heard Eagles Primetime Live. You were there for a while. Yeah, I did the show with Andy for, what, three or four years? Yeah, it was yeah, a long time. Was playing, yeah. It was fun. We yeah. had a good time. Yeah, we did have a good time. <laughs> it wasn't always about football. No, mostly not. No, that's no, true. We talked about a lot. I learned a lot from AJ. Really? Yeah. Telling you all about it, how Likewise, it works. Likewise, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the event now. You, uh, what's the soccer event coming up? Um, well, I used to have a soccer camp here in town, and then got a little bit too busy. So I'm starting one again. I have two of them, um, and they're two different locations. The first one's June 21st at Philadelphia Soccer Club, which is in the Northeast, and then the other one's July 12th at um, Rose Tree Soccer Club and Media. Oh, great for girls nine to 18, and I just I love I love the camps. That's awesome. That's so great. Fun. So I mean. It, it's, you know, soccer is so huge anyway, and it must be awesome for these girls to be able to go to camp, but to be at Heather Mitt's camp would be ridiculous. So talk to us a little bit about what, like, what the experience is. Do they get to meet you yeah. and stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm making sure it's real small this year. It's only 100 kids, so I want to make it really hands-on so that I can be there and to inspire and teach them some things. And I just want them to walk away, maybe learning a couple of things in mm-hmm. the short amount of time that we have, but also just to kind of inspire them and, you know, have fun. That's what yeah. it's all about. I love that you guys stayed local, you know, like you're big time celebrities, you know, sports Some figures. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like say that. that. Well, big, all right, <laughs> so big time for me, you okay, know, I mean, yeah. thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. You know, yeah. <laughs> whatever. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I'm so glad. So why? Because you're not originally from here. I know, where are you from, Heather? I don't, I'm from Cincinnati. OK. AJ's from Oregon. Right. So why did you stay in Philadelphia? We've been all over the place, and when it came down to us finally kind of deciding, we kept throwing Philly out there, and it just kept coming up more than anywhere else, and we just, we always loved it here. This is where we met. Um, we just figured it'd be a great place to come back and, you know, settle down. Yeah. yeah we, I mean, this is the one spot in all the places I played that I kind of established roots, developed relationships, because I played here the longest, mm-hmm. um, and it made sense, I think, you know, to raise a family. Uh, you know, what's better than Philadelphia? I feel like not all sports figures who have been through Philly can say that, yeah, though, we're right? Lucky. It's, we're it's lucky. hit or miss. Yeah, we're very lucky. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, uh, depending on how their career went, you know, they want out of Philadelphia right. as soon as they possibly can. Fans are either going to love you or you know it. Yeah. And they obviously love both of you or you, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> I mean, I have my moments. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Other questions? Yeah. He's our other sports yeah. guy here. Well, now here's the thing is that uh, I play, I just started playing organized soccer for the first time in my life about a year ago. How's that going? Uh, you know, it's not terrible. I do a really good job of getting in people's way. That's good. We uh, always know the day after he plays because yeah, oh yeah. he's are barely really, walking. Yeah, I was going to say, are you really sore? <laughs> yeah, I'm usually, I mean, you know, it's like, it's a different, yeah, sore. Sore, I think, <laughs> yeah. is the word. Uh, so if I wanted to improve my so- soccer game, like immediately, like the first thing I should do is what just i think the the one thing that you can do on your own is just work on juggling okay and i know it's really tough to to kind of you know start to not hand juggling but juggling like, this with isn't with yeah. my feet. soccer game at all yeah. but look at these with, your, with your feet <laughs> but it really helps your touch and okay. uh it's really frustrating at first but it's like one of the things that oh it's incredibly frustrating yeah, at first but if you just work on seriously five minutes a day you will see a huge improvement, and then it actually correlates down on, on the field. Okay, because so. I feel like mentally, it's like I'll know like where I want to put the ball, and then yeah. I somehow end up kicking it like backwards, or I hit somebody's car. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's work, definitely not. Work on the juggling and see if that helps. Okay. The soreness, yeah. I can't help you on, though. All right. Now, on the well, other side of things, for. Doc is actually um, just joining an organized football league, and he's the quarterback. So what was your question for AJ? Yes, AJ. How do you uh, hold a football? (laughs) In your hand, actually. Very good. Well done. All right. That's a step in the right direction. Whatever whatever feels comfortable for you. Left or right hand? Does it matter? What looks better? You tell me. What do you you eat with? What do you write with? (laughs) Just don't do it with two hands. Overhand or underhand? (laughs) (laughs) These are all things I got to look forward to. <laughs> We're going to be great this year. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> Doc's on the skins. They do skins and shirts. and yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a whole, uh, like, a you lot, don't want to miss it. It's a lot of we, visual going on yeah, here. Can we yeah. come to one of your games? Yeah. Nah, I don't want to come to Bring one Connor. of my games. Yeah. You play defense, too, or is this well, quarterback? What's defense? What is this defense you speak of? 
<laughs> no, she's kidding. I'm not in a football league. <laughs> but wouldn't it be great? I yeah. hung up the uh, cleats years ago. Yeah. Did you ever put them on? <laughs> uh, for, for baseball. Yeah. They're still shiny and new. <laughs> yeah, never touch yeah. dirt. What can I tell you? My helmet's leather. <laughs> and I run like this, the arm out all the time. How many years did you play with the Eagles? So I played, uh, had two stints here uh, for a total of six years. So I was here for three, and then got traded to Miami, and was in Miami for two. Went to San Diego for another one, and then came back here for three years. Now compare the uh, the fan base. I, I know here in Philadelphia, they're pretty intense. They, they are either intense. love you or they hate you. Yeah, and that's true. Uh, but it's a great thing. I mean, it's a great motivator for guys, you know, in the off season because you know if you're not, you know, performing well or at least giving, you know, 100, percent you're going to hear about it. Yeah. Um, and you can't say the same for all the other places. The NFL, I mean, you know, a lot of cities are baseball cities or basketball cities, um, and some just don't care. But here in Philadelphia, it's kind of, you know, it's a religion. And you know that from yeah, yeah. day one when you get off the plane that this place is all about the football. And uh, it's a good thing for a player. I mean, you always you hear about, you know, playing in the NFL as a kid, and not all cities are like that, but Philadelphia truly is. It's a place yeah. that you can truly have a I forget who experience. told us the one time we were doing Eagles Primetime Live, and I forget which guy it was, but he said, I could go in and go to Wawa to go get coffee in the morning, and people will stop me and say, you know what you did wrong on Sunday? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they'll point out his mistake. He goes, great, great to hear. Yeah, Thank I used you. to, my first couple of years in the league, I would, um, I'd come out of my apartment, and there was like a scaffolding company with a bunch of construction guys, and every day it was like, yo, AJ, <laughs> you know, nice game, or what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> So, and then you have to face it on Eagles Prime Time. That, like, that was like five o'clock in the morning. You know, like, getting up to go to work. Go start wearing a disguise when you go out. <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh, right now, I uh, work in the medical field. I'm a co principal in a medical distributorship. Oh, wow. And we supply uh, spinal implants um, to uh, neurosurgeons and orthopedic surgeons around the area. So, Good a lot for of you. my days are spent in the OR, OR right now, covering cases. And, and, very uh, different. And all scrubbed out. Yeah. Wow. Very different. Yeah. But it's uh, it's fun. Every day is a new challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's not sitting on a desk, which I don't think I could do. But uh, I enjoy it. And, That's and, neat. Uh, yeah. Do you miss football yeah, a lot? I miss football in the sense of I miss being around my teammates. I miss the locker room. I miss the game planning. Um, but I don't miss the hits. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, the hits on Sundays as I got older were harder to take. Yeah. There were ones that you know that made you think twice about, you know playing another year and now you have a baby and it's going to start all over again yeah i don't know different hits, <laughs> different hits. Yeah. they're lower different hits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's right well, what is it two years old whatever that perfect age is when yeah. you hold them in your arms and all of a sudden you're going to get kicked while you're in the supermarket i'm going to wear a cup i think yeah you might want to ask from good one idea. dad to yeah. another wear a cup <laughs> <laughs> I believe awesome. it's two. Two's the magic age. Um, so, Heather, before we let you go, how can people find out more about your camps? They can just go to heathermitz.com and sign up. And, you know, if they have questions, they can just email us right there. But um, once again, it's just, you know, something I really look forward to. And I'm happy to be back in town and join this. Awesome. We're excited to have you. Thank you. Hey, Thanks, guys. guys. Hey. Thanks for having us. Feely. Hey, we're Doc and Andy, and we want to thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Wasn't that awesome? was so awesome, right? Was my favorite video, that one right there. And if you liked it, then make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube our YouTube channel. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe to YouTube. By the way, you can do it right down. That doesn't look right, but you can do it right down there. Yeah. Click that link and then check out more videos.